This is Peck's Beginner's Guide of Neo. This is Chapter 5, The Oceans Roar Again. So before starting this mission, talk to Fuku, who is next to the shrine, so you can gain some additional fire omeo magic. And uh, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to show you a easier way to fight this boss, Omibuzo. Uh, when fighting this boss, Omibuzo, he basically summons miniature versions of him and what we're going to be doing we're going to prevent him from summoning his uh, mini omibuzos at us while he's trying to fight us or we're trying to fight him uh so basically the first we're going to be lighting actually we're going to be lighting up three torches so this is the first torch which is just around this corner right here and as you can see uh there is a light up uh torch right where the boss is so uh, there's yeah there again total of three so we found the first one we're gonna be finding the second one uh, it's basically take a right uh, we're gonna be dodging all these enemies there's opening this door Fortunately, I got hit by a revenant with an arrow. And again, you can dodge all these enemies. We're going to be fighting this revenant. And then there's another revenant which will uh, shoot arrows at us. So, what you'll do, just take your match lock and then aim at him, and there you go. Uh, if there's a red circle on him, then that means he will get killed by one shot. Right, and then we'll fight this revenant right here. And as you can see, he's going now slower than usual thanks to the Raikiri. The Raikiri uh, gives the uh, opponent or enemy uh, paralyzation, which makes them slow down. Right, and then there is this yokai uh, one spawn. We're just going to actually... Uh, we're going to avoid him. And there is another shrine, but we're going to ignore that. Uh, basically, just walk over this uh, log bridge, climb up this ladder. And we're just going to be uh, wave dashing our way to the, to the second, uh, <laughs> to the second uh, torch. So make sure to jump down when you're uh, far away from the yokai. Uh, and then make sure you can dodge your way... Uh, from the yokai and then go around this corner and climb up this ladder and I believe when you climb up just go to the left I was a little confused where to go first uh, but yeah go to the left uh, let's go back to that uh, same location again past this corpse and then we'll be fighting this revenant as well uh, another reason you can fight some of these revenants uh, it's also because you can gain some emeritas so that you can uh, increase you can increase your uh, living weapon god so you can use your living weapon all right we'll fight this revenant uh, let's take him out uh, loot this corpse and then there's going to be a mini Umi Buzo right there. So jump down, press and hold the uh, light button or heavy button to strike him down. Um, you don't need to, you can finish him off if you want. If not, you can just run, go to the left, keep going down, open this door. And uh, fight this revenant. And then before we actually gonna light up the third and final torch, we're gonna out, uh, take out this talisman, which was a stonewall yokai. Uh, you don't necessarily have to fight him. Uh, the best way uh, to do is uh, use gestures on it. It depends on that creature's eye color, because it does have eyes on the wall. Um, and again, if you use the right gesture, he will disappear. If you don't, he'll start attacking you, and he uh, he does a lot of damage. Alright, so we finally lit the final 
uh, torch and uh, we're gonna be going back to the original shrine um, for me I'm going back because I lost some health and I'm not gonna use my elixirs on these uh, I'd rather save them against bosses So alright, so just wanted to uh, conclude the info of this boss Umibuzo. Uh, so basically, the Umibuzo is weak against fire, and it's a water type uh, boss, which is weird. I guess uh, uh, Ninja Theory or any of the creators of Neo didn't know much about Pokemon or play Pokemon, I guess. But yeah, um, it's weak against fire. go through this gate uh, just to fight the boss and then we're gonna skip this cutscene and then you'll see that these mini uh, umibozos will try to come out but they get killed by the fire uh, so that's where the advantage comes in all right so activate your kekai activate your carnage before uh, fighting the umibozo on one of the sides uh, use a fire talisman to coat your weapon uh, every time he attacks with one of the arms, dodge to the opposite direction and keep attacking him. Uh, then he'll sometimes spit out broken ship parts or water at you. Uh, just dodge forward and you should be fine. If he uses both arms to attack you, just dodge straight and then you can just take a good punish uh, of constant combos at him. And uh, rinse and repeat every time he uh, does uh, any of those attacks. Then he's just going to jump down and uh, go to the other side and do the same procedure. Uh, just run back so be because when he does the dive, he'll actually might hurt you or push you off the edge uh, to the water, which you don't want that. And then basically get ready by covering your uh, weapon with the fire talisman. Uh, when he uses his hyper beam right there, just go to the corner, um, switch to high stance, and then use a, uh, the Reaper style kind of move. Uh, and then if you take him down to half health, he actually goes into the middle and uh, becomes like this little tower-like creature. Use the Hyoko mask on him. That does tons of damage with him. And... If you have done these steps correctly, congratulations, you have beaten only Buzo, or Bozo, whatever you want to call him. But uh, I felt happy on beating him because um, when I first played this game, I had a difficult time fighting him. He was actually the only boss I considered having a difficulty fighting. Um, and I felt really happy, and I also got an achievement, which is killing the Yumi Buzo with the Hyoko Mask, or basically kill an enemy or a boss with a Hyoko mask but yeah this was uh, this was something for me uh, all right so usual just uh, check in inventory um, check your weapons and armor So when you get to your uh, reward, so what I'm doing right there, um, I'm equipping a travel talisman and a memorial talisman. Uh, the travel talisman uh, on the next mission, uh, s some people use this as like a speedrun strat, uh, but for those who don't have travel amulet or rent out a travel amulet, uh, there is another way that you can uh, uh, find the uh, certain key you need to unlock a door the next mission and going back to replenish your magic 
and health on the shrine that you uh, previously used. And as for the memorial talisman, um, unfortunately I don't actually use it much. Um, basically, I the, the most of the time I would use it was on the DLCs of this game. Alright, so just go to the shrine, go to the offering, sell uh, the weapons for more Amarita, uh, go to the inventory, use the soul stone to gain some more Amaritas, uh, and then before that or after that you can go to the blacksmith, replenish your ammo, uh, weapon or uh, armor. And then we're going to go to the dojo and go to, go to the way of the Omeo veteran. So switch the wooden sword to the Kusirigama. And then uh, uh, go to the Kusurigama, use the Summer Twilight, switch to Dual Swords, and then uh, the first enemy we'll be facing is the uh, Mini One-Eyed Yokai. I just bait, constantly keep attacking him. Then you fight the other two Yokais right here. Uh, this Umbrella Yokai is a very fast one so uh, just use a, a water shot on him once and then just find a way to get uh, past uh, through his attack and then punish him and then the next one uh, this guy is a lick a tongue yokai uh, just use the sloth which basically slows down the enemy which is the most useful uh, omeo magic ever in the game uh, shoot a couple of water talisman cover your weapon with the water talisman and then just beat him up. So having the sloth talisman combined with the weakness talisman makes your game or your battles against enemies and bosses really easy. And if you have done those steps, congratulations, you have completed Way the Omeo Ada. So we go to the shrine, we go to level up, and we're going to increase our skill by one and our magic by three. And then we go to the skill set, go to the Omeo, and we're going to be unlocking the life seal in order to unlock sloth. And, and then we're going to be unlocking uh, pure mind, uh, level two. Kekai level 2 and Carnage level 2. And then we're going to go uh, and unlock uh, Incantation as well for level 2. And then we go to Ready Jutsu. And we're going to switch the fire to water. Yeah, take out the fire shot. And uh, you should still have a lightning uh, talisman with you. And then equip Sloth, and then equip another Carnage, so you have more uh, Carnage Talismans in stock. 
Um, I usually put car. Uh, sorry, I usually put sloth and weakness together because again, with them combined, makes the game really easy to fight. And then for the Kekai and Carnage, I always put those two together as well, along with like Elemental Talismans. And then for the first shortcut, uh, usually it's Memorial Talisman, but it's always Elixir as well with it. Okay, so we're going to take this ship and go to the next region. On the next video, the next mission we're going to be going to is called the Spider's Nest Castle. And then we'll be fighting the Spider Queen Yokai boss. Alright, we're gonna be fighting all the Kodamas in the Ocean's Roar again. And we're gonna this is a new game plus file. So the first Kodama, very easy. Just take a left, and he's just behind these craters. Um, what you're about to see it shows that I have found all the Kodamas, but I accidentally skipped him for some odd reason. So we're just gonna consider him the first Kodama we find. Alright, and for the second Kodama, uh, just basically go straight from here. Uh, there are a couple of enemies, or three I believe, are uh, will be in your way of uh, the Kodama. So you can fight him, or if not, uh, he's just behind these crates. But actually, I would recommend fighting him because he's actually going to be hiding when it comes to combat. So yeah, fight the enemies, and then you'll find the second Kodama. The third Kodama, uh, just go across this bridge, um, pass or fight these enemies. Uh, so just be careful on these uh, and the enemies right here. Some will come from the rooftops, some will just come from the ocean. Uh, fight or dodge your way just to get to the next Kodama right here. Alright, then the next Kodama would just be from uh, passing through the door here. Once you open the door, uh, immediately take take a right. Uh, and then around the corner, you'll be finding the next Kodama right here. For the next Kodama, uh, just go across this bridge and then uh, immediately go from here, lock on this pole uh, into the boat, climb up the ladder, and then go to the left and you'll find the next Kodama. The next Kodama, just go and take a left. It'll be the the Revenant that you see and the Mini Omibuzo. Uh, I recommend probably finding the Mini Omibuzo because on to your uh, left, the next Kodama is right there. Alright, so after that, go to the right, go to the left, and then go to another left from here, and the next Kodama will be in this corner. Alright, and then the final Kodama, just uh, go back to where you were, and if you remember where the third and final torch is, that's pretty much where the final Kodama would be. So just basically go all the way down here, and here you go. Congratulations, you have found all the Kodamas. So we're just going to go to the nearest shrine, uh, go to Blessings, that is to our left, on the uh, shrine menu. And it'll show how many Kodamas you have uh, rescued and how many are there in each blessing. Alright, so this is a tip for uh, Amarita farming for beginners. So the first Amarita farming guide, go to the first uh, region map. Uh, there is this mission called Finders Keepers which is uh, from Deep in the Shadows. Uh, so the main mission is you basically have to kill this Kappa so you can retrieve uh, this person's weapons back. So 
Uh, I recommend doing this mission when you have slot because this Kappa is a very fast character uh, and he'll mostly run away from you. So uh, I tried casting slot there, didn't work. Try I now I did it at a closer range, but he didn't notice me. So basically, just keep attacking him. I I didn't want him to uh, alert. I don't want him to lure the rest of the enemies here. I only want to fight the Kappa. But watch out, he'll be doing like two attacks on you. So, so it's not a problem. Uh, just basically keep attacking him, uh, and then that's it. So beating this mission gives you 5,000 Emeritas. Some say it's not much, but this is like a quicker way for uh, for those who don't want to like go through this whole progress just to get that amount of Emeritas in X amount of minutes. This is like a quicker and faster way of gaining Emeritas in seconds to minutes. So, but this is a uh, like a beginner's slash level one guide for Emerita farming. So yeah. Hope this video helped you out.